Good morning, my friend, Travis Egan, my mortgage guy, VA home loan specialist here on Daily Musings and Lessons Learned. It is Friday, April 16th, 2021, uh, and we're today we're going to talk about the one thing keeping you from the success you want. So um, before I begin, a couple of things. One, I always forget to do this. So if you're watching live, please hashtag live. And if you're watching on replay, please hashtag replay. Uh, and then the next thing I want to kind of order of business, want to get on is you'll notice every Friday I wear this red polo. Uh, my wife wears red scrubs to work. Uh, we do that in honor of our military. Uh, Fridays are called red Fridays uh, around here. Uh, I've been doing this for years. Uh, red stands for remember everyone deployed. So right now, I, if you watch the news at all, you'll know that President Biden has uh, declared to bring home 2,500 troops from Afghanistan by September 11th. Um, well deserved, well done. So just remember, we still have men and women serving all over the world right now as we speak, protecting our freedom. So uh, this is a subtle little thing we can do to, to remind ourselves and to remind others about their sacrifice. So that's why I wear red on Friday. Okay, so let's talk about this fatal flaw that hinders our success. Um, I always start with this. In our own lives, we recognize that there's, there's this inherent flaw. And what I mean by that is, what do people tend to do around the first of the year? They create New Year's resolutions. How many of those people actually stick with those resolutions for a significant period of time? Not many. Some do, but not many. Um, my question is why? Like, Why does that happen? Is it that the, the goal wasn't real, that it wasn't important? No, I believe all of those things are absolutely true. Um, but in this piece, in us understanding why our resolutions, we don't continue to work on it, I would ask you, have you started any resolutions that you thought on the first year, I'm going to try something and then not are not still doing it? Therein is the flaw. The flaw is simply inconsistency. We are inconsistent in what we do in our lives. Um, we start to drift away. And, and I think that's the important thing. It really is an insidious piece of what's going on. So if, if we think about this flaw, it, we drift off of our goal, right? We drift off of what's important to us, not because it's not important, but because we haven't made it, we haven't disciplined ourselves to do it. Uh, I, I think the other piece of it as well is sometimes we have all of these things and we add something else on top of it, right? So we take our things that we're trying to work on and then it's New Year's, so then we try to add another thing on top of that. Uh, and the truth of the matter is it doesn't really matter when you start. Uh, what it matters is, are you consistent? I think of it this way. I, I can give you two examples to, to prove my point. The first one we know of, right? It's the fabled tortoise and the hare. The hare was faster, more athletic, more, more able to do the task. But the tortoise won the race because of their consistency, right? They just stayed at it day, step after step after step after step where the hair was running and napping and just doing all this, you know, it was frenetic. The the tortoise moves slowly. A more practical term uh, in terms of the red shirt, right? Our military. Think of what our military does. They consistently do the little things excellent. That's why they're successful. Consistency, disciplined consistency. So my encouragement to you today to think about over the weekend is now let's add more onto our plate. But what's the one thing that we that will help us get towards our goals that we can consistently do? Don't add anything new. Find the one thing you're not consistently doing that brings you success. And let's find a way to make that more consistent. Uh, I'll give you a quick tip that I use. Uh, thanks to my friend Brian Stevens, who's kind of beat it in my head over the years. Hey, thank you for watching, Catherine. Uh, the one consistent thing I do is I calendar. So on my calendar, I literally go in and I time block specific activities to be done during the day. Uh, that way I can make sure they get done. Now, am I 100% on that? No, but it really does kind of keep me on point. So that's my encouragement to you. Find one thing that you can consistently do that will help you get to the goal or to the, the, the place that you're looking to get. I'm Travis Egan. 
my mortgage guy, VA home loan specialist. Thank you for watching Daily Musings and Lessons Learned this Friday. Uh, I will ask you that if you run into any friends, family, co-workers that are looking to buy, sell, or refinance, I would be honored uh, to have to be introduced to them, no matter where they are in the, in the country. Uh, I am blessed to work within a network of uh, high, high, very high achieving uh, realtors and lenders uh, and would love to introduce you to them if it's an area that I don't service. So thank you for your time again. Look forward to seeing you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.